Hey Dragon Slayers. So, today's video is about how salt is not your enemy, part three. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. If you see your doctor and he tells you to reduce your sodium or salt intake to lower your blood pressure or addresses some other health issue, please try to take him, take it easy on him. He's repeating a medical lie that's not only starting to die slowly, but many good doctors haven't done the reading they need to do to be able to see past this lie. You can ask a respectful question about what research he is basing his advice on. That might be enough to motivate him to put on his reading glasses and begin getting up to date. This lie is another great example of how patients can begin to take control of their health, research as deeply as they want into the subject, and begin to take pride in their knowledge and improving their health. Addressing this medical lie with your doctor can be the beginning of a much stronger partnership between the two of you. Either he will do his reading and become a better doctor, or he will be rude to you, which gives you an opportunity to find a new doctor. I suggest that you guys do as Dr. Barry does. He always has salt on his table and in his kitchen. He uses salt in virtually every dish he prepares. He never likes the taste of too much salt, but he has no fear of using it in general. He uses unprocessed Himalayan sea salt that he grinds himself, and he puts it on everything. Even if he does develop a blood pressure problem later in life, he will continue to use sea salt without fear. Here are some other resources. Salt is necessary for optimized human health, but you'll probably need some knowledge bullets in your gun when you attack your doctor with this idea. Dr. Barry suggests two great books and a magazine article that describes all the benefits of eating good salt. The magazine article also includes all the dumb things that experts and government agencies have said and done about salt. The first book is called The Salt Fix by James D. Nicolarianto, I'm probably mispronouncing that, PhD. It was published in, Doctor Tw in 2017. So Dr. James uh, dives deep into the science to show that salt is a vital, healthy substance for humans, and it can even enhance physical performance. The second book that Dr. Barry recommends you read is called Salt Your Way to Health by David Brownstein, medical doctor. This one was published in 2006. Dr. Brownstein has been bucking the system for decades. This book is full of great ideas and great information about salt and its health benefits. The last thing that Dr. Barry suggests you check out is a magazine article called It's Time to End the War on Salt by Melinda Win Winner Moyer in Scientific American. Uh, this was published in July of 2011. Ms. Moyer gives a great summary of the history of making salt a health no-no and explains how state and federal health experts have bungled this issue. Some of the decisions made at the federal level are embarrassing, to say the least. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.